and welcome to today's vlog. We are getting ready to go to the gym. Just got a package. Finally, I'm replacing my phone. I'm gonna open that after I go to the gym because I wanna set it up and stuff. But I just replaced my phone with an iPhone 8 Plus. I really wanted the 10, but I saw so many people had problems with the facial recognition. I just felt like I don't wanna risk it. So I got the 8 Plus. A lot of people said that they made the switch from the 10 to the 8 Plus. So I'm hoping that this is the right decision. I've never had a Plus before, so I'm nervous it's gonna be too big, but I think it'll be fine because I have a pop socket on the back of my phone. So I'll just like switch that over onto the new one and then hopefully that will solve the small hand problem. So also side note, if I look like I'm talking really weird, it's because my lips are super chapped. I just started using my retinoids again recently. Whenever I start using them again, my skin gets super dried out. So I've got like some flakes and stuff around here. I love the effect of using them consistently. Like after you get past the initial stages of peeling, your skin looks so nice and so smooth and so even, but it's just like that first week or two that you just gotta deal with it. Sebastian and I are going to the gym. I'm a little bit nervous because I have a key fob to go into my gym because it's a 24 hour one. And if you lose it, I think it's like 50 or $75. And I haven't been able to find it for the past few days. I also have my yoga pass card on there as well. That's not a difficult one to replace, but just the key fob itself is. So I'm hoping we're gonna be able to find it. Otherwise I'm gonna have to go replace that. And that will be a little bit of a downer for the day. Oh, freaking red right now. So we're leaving the gym. I feel like I have a sunburn. Killed it on the elliptical. It's trying to go really hard. Fluctuating between like 8.5 and 9 point, probably like three the entire time. So we just got home. I washed my face. Although it probably doesn't look like it because I'm still super red. But I thought I would make today's vlog more like a what I eat in the day type vlog. I've been kind of on a routine lately where I've been eating almost the same thing throughout the day and then I'll make something different every night for dinner. But we are making acai bowls right now. We buy our acai pulp from Trader Joe's. I find this is the best price. I think it's like $4 for four packages. So because Sebastian and I both have them, we add two packages to our blender. For our bowls, I like to add strawberries, the acai pulp, coconut water, and then I love adding these mixed berries that I get at Costco. I love adding the mixed berries to this because it makes it taste like a frozen yogurt. You know the kind that you get where they add the frozen yogurt and then the berries into a machine, it kind of mixes it together, but that's exactly what it tastes like. Okay, so we're adding the pulp into the blender. And then typically I add just over half a cup, but there was a couple left in there, so I'm adding some strawberries in here. And then I add a cup of the frozen berries. And then I'm adding some Greek yogurt. Just a couple spoonfuls. I'm also adding some honey just for some sweetness because nothing in here so far has been sweetened. Maybe in total, just under a tablespoon. And then a splash of vanilla. Last thing I'm adding is some coconut water to get everything moving. And that's it. So for toppings, I like some shredded coconut. I just realized we had chia seeds, so I'm gonna add some of those. And then I'm gonna add some sliced almonds. Also going to add some blackberries because we don't have any other types of like fruit that's really great right now. So hopefully these will be sweet enough. And then add some granola. And I don't do this on my own, but I always add a little bit of honey for Sebastian because he's fussy. And I also give him some peanut butter. I feel like such a mom saying like, this is how I get you to eat your healthy food. <laughs> You're baiting me. Although I know there's been debate as to whether or not these kinds of bowls are actually healthy, but they're good and they're very summery, so I like them. Fortunately, they don't actually take that long to make, which is awesome. I'm going to open my phone now and transfer everything over. And because I haven't changed all my clothes since I got back, I'm super cold because I'm still a little bit sweaty. Everything I want in the world right now is to take a bath. So I'm going to take a bath after this, but I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing for you guys, even though this phone's been out forever now. Ah, the packaging's so nice. 
nice. A cream color. They changed the boxes since the last time I've gotten a phone. They used to be like super stark white and now they're kind of like this creamy, almost like a light beige color, which as you guys can tell is like my favorite color ever. So I'm a very big fan of the box. And I got the gold one, although to me this is more rose gold. I haven't actually seen anyone's iPhone 8 in person. And the phone case that I got for it is the iPhone 8 Plus silicone case from the Apple store. Just because I've had the Lumi case on my phone for so long that I feel like I'm literally carrying an iPhone 4 again. It's such a brick in my hand. I just want to have like a nice sleek thin phone again. So I'm really excited to have something that's like really thin on it. Oh my gosh, taking the wrappers off the packages. Does anyone else get so satisfied by taking off plastic from any kind of like electronic device? I think it's so satisfying. My sister and I used to fight over who got to take the plastic off. So a little bit of an update, I changed my clothes and I'm still freezing. I just remembered that the other day L'Oreal sent me this package and I would have saved it for opening on camera, but Sebastian tore into it right away. Hashtag no patience and it didn't even let me open my own package. So this is what they sent me and I think this is actually like body care stuff. So, ooh, yes. what is this, candy? That's cool. Ooh, caramel. I love chocolate covered caramel. I knew you would say something like that. I just want to check it out. Grape seed scrub, kiwi scrub, and cocoa scrub. Oh wait, are these for face? I thought these were for body. I was going to use them in the bath. Just put together why they sent these candies. I guess they correlate to the sugar scrub. So cocoa with the cocoa scrub, kiwi with the kiwi scrub, and grape with the grapeseed scrub. That is so cool. What a cool package. I am a big fan of sugar scrubs. I will keep you guys posted and let you know what I think of these ones. It's a little later. My phone is finally finished updating and now I'm just charging it. Now it's time for Nell's exercise of the day. Oh, he's doing his down we're doggy. Do it again. Do a big stretch. Show me how you like to do yoga. Do a big stretch. Come on. Yes. Oh, that's a good boy. So pretty out today. So it's a little later now. We got back from our walk and I'm going to make myself kind of like a late lunch. I try to put this off as long as possible on days when I go to yoga because yoga starts at 7.45 in the evening. And otherwise I will be way too hungry afterwards to make myself dinner. I'm making some lox or like smoked salmon slices. I guess it's technically a little bit different than lox on some of this Swedish flatbread. Package is destroyed because it's been used obviously. But this is the light rye flatbread and I'm not gonna say it because I know I'm gonna say it wrong and so but this is the brand and it's got six grams of fiber per three slices and 80 calories so it's a healthier alternative to using bread so I literally eat this every single day of my life and I've been doing this for probably like two months now honestly I'm not mad about it because I'm getting my omega-3 intake there but this is the salmon that I get it's from Costco and you get a huge slab for like I think $16 which is amazing when you buy this in the grocery store it can be kind of pricey so having access to Costco has changed my life and my typical portion is three pieces of the flatbread one more thing before I show you guys how I make it so I've just discovered this Philadelphia bread cream cheese. I don't know if they have this in Canada. I got this at Target, but this is life changing for me. I've always just used the cream cheese in like the foil packs and it's so difficult to spread, especially on things like crackers where they obviously break a lot easier. So if you guys have not tried spreadable cream cheese, you're really missing out because I feel like I've missed out my whole life on this stuff. looks like. I have the flatbread, then I have a thin layer of cream cheese, the smoked salmon, and then I like to add super, super thinly sliced red onion. I'm not a big fan of raw onion, so this is basically as much as I can tolerate. And then I add a ton of capers. Another thing that I used to hate, but I've recently kind of fell in love with because of this snack. And then I finish it off with a little bit of dill. I'm so excited to have this. I'm off to my second and last workout of the day and I'm going to a yoga class. You guys want to see my towel? It's actually so cute. Is this not the cutest towel ever? 
I'm absolutely obsessed with this. This is a Manduka uh, Yogi Toes towel. So on the other side, it actually has these rubber dots so it doesn't slip on your mat, which is kind of critical when you're doing hot yoga because it gets super slippery in there. Are you modeling my, my yoga mat? So yeah, I love this towel. I ordered it from their website, but I do have another one of their towels, which I love as well. And that one I got at Mountain Equipment Co-op. These are pricey, but they are amazing. I definitely recommend. Also super durable. I wash mine after every session and I've had this for like a year now and it still looks perfect um, but also they use I think recycled materials for them and all of the dye is like natural dye I just got back from yoga and you guys I left and it was daylight and I'm coming back and it's pitch black out we're gonna start making dinner but I didn't want to have the last clip of me going to yoga and then the next clip of me in my pajamas because that's literally what I'm gonna do right now is put my PJs on it's pretty late now and I am freaking starving. Hey guys, so I'm back and in my PJs as promised. We had already started to prep everything. Basically, we've just done all the chopping, but we haven't assembled anything. So for dinner, we are making prawn tacos. We've just defrosted some prawns. And what's great about prawns is that you can have them in the freezer and they're basically usable at any time because you just defrost them under some cold water for a couple minutes and that's all it takes. So for dinner, I'm making the prawn tacos. I'm also making guacamole and this dressing that goes over top of them that's so so good Joey restaurants um, it's a Canadian chain but I know they have them in the US as well they have a dish on the menu Baja fish tacos they have this amazing dressing on top and it's called green goddess dressing and if you guys watched my previous vlog I mentioned that there was a dressing I tried to remake without anchovies and it just didn't taste right so that is the dressing that started me on using anchovies and things I used to make it all the time but I can't remember how I made it so I looked up some recipes online and it might not taste like perfect perfect tonight just because I haven't made it in so long. I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers. It is made with a ton of herbs. So I have some parsley, I have some chopped chives, I have some chopped tarragon. Those are the anchovies and then these are some green onions. And it's kind of like a ranch dressing because it's like mayonnaise based. And then I add in some sour cream to thin it out a bit. Okay, so into a food processor, I'm adding one cup of mayonnaise and this is Hellman's mayonnaise. I wouldn't recommend doing this with Miracle Whip or something like that. I'm going to add some sour cream, not too much, just like a couple spoonfuls and my herbs. So this is about one tablespoon of chopped tarragon. You could use less if you don't like the flavor of tarragon. I love it, it's super good. Then I'm adding in about two teaspoons of chopped chives. I'm adding in one whole green onion chopped and then about a tablespoon of chopped parsley. And then I'm adding in two anchovies that I've chopped up. Good pinch of salt. And then finally, a splash of some white wine vinegar. All right, so let's see how it tastes. I think I'm gonna rip up some more tarragon and put that in there. A little bit extra vinegar. The sauce at Joey's has a very strong tarragon flavor, so I added a bunch more. I'd say this is maybe like two tablespoons. Hopefully that does the trick. Taste test, so much better. Okay, so into the prawns, I'm going to add some fresh pressed garlic. I'm also adding some paprika, a little bit of onion powder, some cumin, one of my favorite spices. A little bit of chili powder, some lime zest, and this gives like that really nice lime flavor without acid. And I'm going to season it with some salt and then pour in a little bit of oil. And then just give that a nice mix around and let that marinate. So for the guacamole, I'm using two avocados and I have about a third of a red onion chopped. And then I'm adding the zest of one lime into the bowl as well. I like adding lime zest into guacamole. I find it gives such a nice flavor because it tastes really limey without being too acidic. And then I'm adding the juice of one lime. And I prefer to use garlic powder for my guacamole instead of fresh garlic. I feel like it tastes less overwhelming. It kind of blends in better, I find. Then I'm just seasoning it with some salt and mashing it all together. More lime, more? If you want to add more lime. Maybe a little bit? Yeah. So now we've used about one and a half limes for this. So I'm going to add my prawns to a cast iron pan. So I'm going to warm up some corn tortillas. These are from Grimm's. These are my favorite corn tortillas. 
And I'm just gonna warm them up in a pan. All right, so to finish it off, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of lime over top of them. Okay, so now that the prawns have cooled a bit, I'm just taking the tails and pinching to remove them. And once they're cooked, they actually come off super easy. To make them, I'm going to take my corn tortilla. In the bottom, I'm going to add some guacamole. Then I'm going to spoon on some prawns. And I'm going to add a little green goddess sauce, some tomatoes, a little bit of cheese, and some lettuce. Super excited to eat this. I'm so hungry and I will let you guys know how it tastes. So the prawn tacos were so good. The green goddess dressing was like spot on. The prawns were super flavorful. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, let me know because I had a ton of fun filming this like vlog style what I eat in a day. So I will definitely film more if you guys would like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.